So our next show that we're going to be talking about mm -hmm. is Parks and Rec. Rec. I almost gave you the grade first. A. A minus. All right, close. Yeah. I just, I love it so much. Me too. I will say part of my, th the, the only reason why I gave it an A minus versus an A, which really, an A minus is still good. I feel like when I think about 2013 as a full year, which we're not doing, we're not doing. but I know, but when I think about the past year, I think about it, Ben and Leslie's I wedding. I know, but we're going to change the rules. I'm not changing the rules. I, this is why I'm explaining why I didn't give it an A. Uh huh. So, like, to me, that was a highlight of the season. So, I feel like they... That was a different season. I uh, Right. Of the year. It's oh, okay. Of the year. Okay. So, for me, there's been a lot of really great moments, but nothing so far this season has topped or, or reached that. Okay. Which I think it's really hard for any show to do, because that was such an, an incredible moment for those two characters. Right. And for the show. But for me, when I was thinking about the season, I was thinking, well, this season has been really good, but nothing has made me feel the way Ben and Le Leslie okay. and Ben felt. But it's still amazing, and I still want to hug my TV, and I'm really, really sad that Anne is leaving. I like Chris a lot. I know a lot of people don't, so I'll be sad to see him leave too, but it's really unfortunate to think about Leslie without Anne. See, I didn't do what you did. I, I didn't know, compare it because I felt like that's not fair. So not fair. I, I, I but, but that being said, I mean, the finale last season left a lot of things that I thought could go really well or could go really crappy. The pregnancy. Yeah. Um, you know, we knew that Chris wasn't going to be, uh, Chris Pratt wasn't going to be able to do yeah. all the episodes of the beginning, so they having to write out Andy, even though April was the one that had applied to veterinary school, and she's the one that theoretically should have been written out for a few episodes. Like, right. they had these hurdles, production-wise and writing-wise, to jump, and I thought they did them really, really well. And that's, I mean, honestly, like, nothing can top Ben and Leslie's wedding, because Ben and Leslie are amazing, but... But Ron and Diane's wedding that came was really close. When she stood up and she was like, Diane, Tammy, I was like, you're the best person ever, and I love you, and this is going to be awesome. So, and like just that whole, you know, Ron having to be a dad and prepare for that and writing the will and like, you know, this guy who usually just keeps his gold buried in, the, in wherever has to now provide for a family. And, and the London stuff I thought yeah, was, was phenomenal. And that yes. was one of the best on location episodes I've seen in a while. Because like a lot of episode shows go on location, and it's like, ooh, location, it's awesome. Right. And it's like, like this had a reason, yeah, and it looked really good. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I just feel like there's so much. I love the doppelganger. I thought that was a, a episode that, you know, across all seasons, stood out as one of my favorite ones. I will say that I, I mean, you know, I don't know if I have to justify an A. I feel like an A is super high, but I, I might have given it an A plus. Except, and everyone's going to hate me for this because everybody loves Billy Eichner, and it's not that I don't, I just don't like his character. I just find him so annoying. And Is that Jam? No, but that's what I was going to say. On a show where you already have Jam, and he's really... who's, who's um, arguably the most annoying character, oh, so don't annoying. bring in a second one. But he may only be that way to me. He's the, uh, the Eagleton guy who they brought oh, over. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's fun. the thing. I mean, Sorry. he's not... It's not that he's a bad actor, it's just that that character is so shrill and so... Yeah. Too much. Um, I will say, I was sad to see Leslie get recalled. Yeah, but and I, I think I, that's I a really good story point. I think it's a point. really good story point, I really do. But it's one of those things where, you know, at some point, I love Parks and Rec, and if they could keep it on for 100 years the way it is and make me as happy as possible, I would totally do that. At the same time... There always reaches a point in a show's life where you wonder at what point is it better for the show to end oh, yeah. versus to go on for several more years of subpar quality. Yeah, we I mean we just talked about one. Right. Mm -hmm. And and you know, we've talked about others earlier today too. <laughs> right. So it's it's one of those things where I don't think the quality has gone down, but there was a when that happened, there was a small part of me. That was a little sad that the show didn't end sooner before we got to that point because it is a great story point. Oh. But as a viewer, as someone who really wants Leslie Nope to do well, I was kind of sad to see her get that blow. So, but at the, the same point, but like, then we'll see her, they, you know, rebuild. Well, and it's not even the rebuilding; it's just you know they got away from what the show initially was right. with her going into a more involved city council job, and it was a great show. But in a way, I feel like this is kind of taking the character and the show back to what right. did you say you wanted to do? 
remember that park? Yeah. <laughs> you remember know what I mean? Like, and they've joked. I mean, I, I know Mike has joked about the finale, the series finale, being the gra- the groundbreaking right. on that park, you know, nine, ten Jones. years later, because it takes so long to do anything. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, to me, that's what's interesting about a show like this, is you have this character who's so right. focused, and she's got this goal, but then did she get away from some of the other things she wanted to do? Right. And did she, re- you know... I just want Lois to feel happy. Anything that gets in the way of yes, that Yes, but she can be sad. happy even if she's recalled. She sad. might actually do more good yes, I when know. she's recalled. It's you just, can't... I get very angry at the, the citizens of Pawnee who do not appreciate her. Yes, I understand, but I but like think of, that's saying. exactly it. Like, look at all of these hurdles that she has because of the citizens and their crazy demands and, yeah. and because of the way that we see the local government works with people like Jam, who just buy votes and things like that. Like, she might actually get to accomplish more if she's right. doing it the way she was doing yeah. it before. So, I don't know. I'm really excited. I, I really like the season so far. I just want um, good things when I think about Parks and Rec. It's a good show, you guys. <laughs> so you should be watching. 